What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all 10 illusions in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 that the developers used during certain parts. I figured y'all would find this kind of breakdown interesting of the game. By the way, if you do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. First things first, let's go ahead and start here when we encounter Poppy humming a tune right in front of this giant hole that Mommy Longlegs comes out of and drags her down. As you may know, during this part, we can hear her yelling as if she's being dragged down this tunnel further and further away from us. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. But it's actually just an illusion the developers pulled off here. In a different perspective, we're able to figure this out. As you can see, Mommy Longlegs appears out of nowhere during this part and grabs her and then she just disappears with Poppy. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. So yeah, that's what happens when Mommy Longlegs drags Poppy down in the hole. They just despawn. The audio file of Poppy uh, yelling and seeming like she's getting further and further away was just an illusion to make it seem like that's what happened because you know we're not able to typically see the game in this perspective that i'm in currently i'm actually just using a wall hack to be able to go through certain walls just to break down these certain parts for you guys but yeah pretty neat i have to say the developers did pull off this part nicely i mean when i first encountered this part i literally thought that she did get dragged all the way down through the tunnel system that we go through after her but no not the case she just disappears and the audio file continues to play as if that's what's happening. All right, so this next illusion I'll be showing you is a little further in the game when Mommy Longlegs takes her hand. As you can see here, she's hanging from the ceiling and she takes off going up above with Poppy in this hallway. And it seems like she continues to crawl somewhere up above, but actually she just disappears a little further past the darkness that we can see looking up. So yeah, the developers added this darkness above us to create an illusion to make it seem like they actually went somewhere inside this factory. But yeah, that's not the case. They just despawn almost immediately after the darkness above us. We need to know. But yeah, anyways, this next illusion, the developers used two mommy long legs to get this next part to work. It's pretty interesting how they did this. So as some of you know, at the end of this memory test, Mommy Long Legs will give us another part of the code for the train. Now, I decided to actually follow Mommy Long Legs' arm to see how it stretches all the way over down through the tunnel system. And, well, it turns out the developers just spawned in another Mommy Long Legs model and had her stretch her arm down through the tunnel system. So, yeah, a different Mommy Long Legs gives us the code for the train. It's not actually the one that's talking to us up in the observatory. I have to say the developers did a very good job with this illusion. I mean it is supposed to be her giving us it, but I'm assuming there was just some complications with having her arm stretched that far to give us the code or something because they just spawned in another model to give us it. Pretty interesting. I have to say I would have never have figured this out if I just didn't use free cam mode and checked how exactly her arm stretches all the way to us. It seems like they just spawned in another model to make it a bit easier to give us the code. So I have to say, it was a very nice illusion. I did not expect another Mommy Long Legs giving us the code, but yeah, turns out there is. And also, Bunzo is up here chilling too with her. He doesn't actually go anywhere. He just comes up here past the darkness so we can't see, you know, what's going on up here. And he's just hanging out right by the other Mommy Long Legs model that the developers spawned in to give us the other part of the train code. Pretty cool to get to see how things work behind the curtain of the game. There's also another little illusion with Mommy Long Legs after we do take the code from her. As you can see, the one that's up in the observatory backs off and it makes it seem like she's going off somewhere else in the factory, but she actually just backs away behind these destroyed ceiling pieces to just get out of her sight to make it seem like she disappeared and went off somewhere else in the factory. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next one. This is also a really interesting illusion the developers pulled off at this part here where we have to whack a wuggy. <laughs> this part was pretty challenging my first time through. So as you know, there's a bunch of huggy wuggies that uh, crawl through these tunnels 
and we have to whack them before they come all the way through. If we don't, they'll end up jumping out of the tunnel system and getting us. And I found out after we beat this whack a huggy wuggy game, and Mommy Longlegs gives us another part of the code by stretching her arm all the way to us, it seems like the developers once again spawned in another Mommy Longlegs model to make it seem like she actually stretched her arm this far. As you see, this Mommy Longlegs model is actually giving us the code, not the one that's talking to us once again up in the observatory. The developers pulled off an illusion to make it seem like she's the one giving us it. As you can see, this model is actually upside down T-posing over here. <laughs> yeah, we could see this one way better than the other one, which was in complete darkness above the tunnel system of the memory test. So yeah, the developers used the same illusion trick to make it seem like she stretched her arm all the way to us to give us the train code. But really, the mommy long legs that was supposed to be giving us the code just stretched her arm down past the window of what we can see. So it gave off an illusion that she stretched her arm all the way over here through this open doorway to get the next code. Pretty neat, once again, just to see how things worked in the game. And as you can see, once you do take the code from Mommy Long Legs, the second model uh, that helped create the illusion that she stretched her arm all the way to us just disappears. And the actual Mommy Long Legs that's talking to us up in the observatory just disappears by going through a wall. As you can see, I don't know if you noticed this before on how she just disappears here, but yeah, that's how she goes away at this part. Once she is behind the wall, her model just stays here frozen for a little bit and then just despawns. And as for the Huggy Wuggies and their tunnel system, as you can see, their tunnel system isn't long at all, even though it did seem like they were crawling through something pretty long and coming out at different times at us. But yeah, it literally just stops a little past the darkness that we see looking through the tunnels. Actually, a little past the darkness that you see looking into the tunnel, it basically ends. And that's where they just chill at until they're summoned. And even after you get through this and win and, you know, get the train code, they literally just go back to where they started at the edge of the tunnel a little past the darkness but yeah that's enough information and going in depth over this part this next illusion that i wanted to show you that the developers used is when we first encounter kissy missy here when she opens up this gate as some of you may know she turns around and just walks back through the tunnels that she came from giving us the impression that she's somewhere around lurking in the tunnels at least during my first time through that's what i was thinking i was thinking i was going to encounter her again somewhere around in these tunnels that we have to go through to progress through the game but it turns out she actually just disappears right as soon as she turns this corner here basically and you can discover her model through one of these walls as you can see you can find her right here just t-posing so yeah she is somewhere still around in the tunnels area but just not going to be coming after us. She's just T-posing behind the wall. Not too sure why her model is placed here behind the wall, but yeah, this is where you can find her again after she walks away from us. Pretty interesting to know where she actually goes to. So this next illusion will be when we actually ride the train. Now, as some of you may know, during this part, it is chaotic. Like the game makes us feel like we need to pull this lever and stop the train immediately because we're going so fast down these tracks. There's like literally a blinking red sign in her face saying stop the train. But it turns out it's just an illusion. Nothing happens if you don't stop the train. Like literally nothing happens. But once you do officially pull the lever, that's when something happens. There's actually no rush whatsoever to pull the lever. I have to say, my first time playing through this, I was rushing to pull that lever because I thought we were about to crash, but yeah, nothing literally happens if you don't pull the lever. The developers definitely gave off a great illusion that something, you know, was going to happen if we didn't. Anyways, this last illusion that I wanted to show you all is probably one of the most interesting ones and one of the ones that players were most curious about and that is who exactly drags mommy long legs like can we see more of this thing all we see is the hand 
coming out of nowhere and dragging her away after she runs into this machine that grinds her up. And, well, it turns out there is nothing else besides the hand. I mean, we can see more of it in detail as you can see if we go into free cam mode and wait for it to start dragging her we can see that it seems to be robotic and it's also interesting that it decides to drag her away i mean if you think about it seriously why why did it just want to drag her away but yeah either way the developers pulled off an illusion here to make it seem like something more was dragging mommy long legs but all we can see right now is just the arm and hand they just gave off the illusion that it is something more but we're not able to actually see what is dragging it at the moment i'm sure in the next chapter we will the developers probably knew that we were going to be checking what exactly this thing was that was dragging mommy long legs and unfortunately we're only able to see the arm it's literally not connected to anything yet so yeah i wonder what this arm is connected to actually looks like though it's got me more interested in the next chapter probably is one of the reasons why the developers decided to make just the arm and hand visible for now gives us something else to be a little bit interested in for the next chapter but yeah i guess that's that wrapping up this video everyone hopefully you found this enjoyable and if you did consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it the support is greatly appreciated as always that's totally up to you just leaving a reminder here at the end i'm out of here though thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace